So welcome back guys to a brand new episode of my top five picks for the week. Hopefully your beautiful face is having a great week such as myself. You know how we get it down every single day on Sunday. We do five top picks that I have been playing the most of for the week. This is going to be episode 37 within my Sunday series. But let's just jump straight into the video in no particular order just to keep a count or a reference point to where I am. Coming in at number five is going to be the Skeleton Retexture Bloody Version. This this mod is insane. Now, we did a Vampire Lord one. It's pretty much similar to this. And we did a Glowing Eyes one. I love all of those two bits. But in conjunction with this particular mod, aka the Glowing Eyes Skeleton Race mod, with the Skeleton Retexture Blood Divergent, which is this one, is absolutely terrifying there was a comment on one of the particular top five videos that we did of this particular showcase for this mod and someone said they actually ran into one of the skeletons and they were freaking terrified just because this one of these things with this retexture come out of the corner that is for sure these things are absolutely horrific they are so well detailed though and i feel like with a little bit of these they are very immersive too there's a ton of different variety these smiley beats have brought you every single kind of skeleton that you could possibly want or create in your mind on to the Bethesda.net website. Highly recommend just typing in skeleton retexture and a bunch of different things will pop up. Did enjoy this one, still got it at the moment. Obviously at the moment I haven't got it installed just for the due fact of like all of these mods. I kind of interchange my mods incredibly quick. You know, I do daily content on the channel so I kind of keep my minimalistic mods out of the way. But I actually add these into a folder or a notepad that I can just keep to a side the ones that I just enjoy playing off camera. This is definitely one and I highly recommend anyone grabbing this one just because it is a freaking scary but also at the same time incredibly cool now 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 for our next spot is going to be the flyable broomstick now to be honest a lot of people didn't like this personally i actually really enjoyed this now hopefully this does get updated here and there and everywhere because the fluency of the flying is a little bit glitchy. I wouldn't say janky, it's just a little bit glitchy, just for the fact of you're using the sort of vanilla animations to do with a horse mount, and as soon as you jump on it and essentially descend or ascend between the flight of the broomstick, it can be a little bit choppy. So hopefully that can be smoothed out. I don't know if anything can be fixed on that one. This is gonna be a port from the Nexus, but other than that, I actually kind of enjoyed this mod. Uh, the limitations is where you can go and what it actually says on the tin, to be honest, the flying broomstick, is, is really kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. For an ammo sort of 1.14 megabyte, I'm not going to lie, that is definitely a steal for this. Even if you just sort of grab it, uh, even if you're playing a vanilla game, to be totally honest, I mean, this is cheaper than a horse. All you need to do is find a broom, go into the forward section, scroll all the way down to the miscellaneous and pretty much make yourself a upgraded vanilla broom it's it's kind of weird the footage on screen now does kind of show that in a sense but what you do with it is when you've got it in the infantry you just drop it i know it sounds really weird i i was trying to equip it but you know that's not the case you just drop it and then it kind of goes into a state of levitation you jump on the broomstick and you can pretty much just fly around which is insane I, as you can tell on screen now, i was flying around solitude and various other different places with this particular mod as i say the limitations on this and how cheap it is of to create with in-game in comparison to buying an actual horse or a mount or something like that is pretty cool and if you're running sort of a, a mage build or a witch build or something like that something that has an element of magic within it then this is a no-brainer for you i actually really enjoyed this one it's so fun just sort of flying around I'd, I'd recommend this for anyone just try out as i say for a download size of 1.14 megabytes it's definitely worth a try and definitely a steal and one to add to one of probably the best mods that have come to the bethesda.net website for this year for a third spot is going to be this one now the idea of this has been changed ever so slightly ever so slightly that's for sure uh, when i covered it, it was actually called temple knights and now it's called crusader knights temple and then a bunch of other different stuff has been integrated within this mod as well it's absolutely terrifying the mod author did say that it would upgrade the description and they have indeed so really kind of cool i actually really enjoyed this one it adds a ton and i mean a ton of stuff to the game uh, download size of 132 megabyte it's quite pricey but in conjunction with what you get 
really is not that bad at all. You get a bunch of different armors and shields which are really well detailed and with those armors and shields they're actually faction based too. Uh, as you can tell on screen now the footage in white run there is a certain faction that I did have the corresponding armor for. I'm not too sure if you have a different sort of crusader armor that they will be hostile just because you know you're kind of in that territory. But if you're walking in there, say with, I don't know, Elven armor, you can pretty much just walk in there and pick up some of the armor. It's all free. You know, you kind of pick and choose a faction, which is really kind of cool because you'd expect sort of Skyrim as a vanilla based game to have something similar to that. I know we have like the Thieves Guild and stuff like that. And the, we had the fighting guilds in Oblivion. This is, I suppose, close to that. I'm not too sure if there's any NPC quests, but that would be sensational. To be honest, if they had NPCs that did sort of handout quests or sort of mini quests, this could possibly be like the Knights of the Nine for Oblivion. This could be like a set DLC. And as I said, for 132 megabyte download, it really is kind of cool. You get tons of armor, even if you just go for the armor, but the settling spaces or sort of the sort of sections to do with the each a sort of covenant to do with the Crusader sort of band of brothers that you're going with is pretty cool. They're well detailed, they're kind of huge as well. And uh, as I said, I think I feel like this should have been integrated within a vanilla base game. And for our penultimate spot is going to be the Rangers outfit. Now I said the Rangers gear in my top five video and I do apologize for that, but the Rangers outfit is is pretty nice it's a craftable female only armor unfortunately because it is actually really well detailed and there's a lot of intricate pieces that are connected together to make the armor this comes in a green version and a white version both are absolutely breathtaking and really cool to be honest you could probably switch this up to quite a few different builds i wouldn't just say that you could just use it for a rangers build i mean there's loads of other different pieces and elements as i said before to these unique pieces of armor so you could chop and change them and add a few different to sort of other existing mods or even vanilla armor depends how you feel about that but for me i actually really enjoyed this one it was kind of cool it was kind of fun recommend anyone grabbing it it is a quite pricey download size for two pieces of armor as in two sets the white and the green for the ranger outfit 116 megabytes if you want to try it out go for it let me know what you think in the comment section below same with all these other different mods but as i said for a female only sort of class and for a character build sort of video that you could possibly do on this the rangers outfit with the level of detailing is breathtaking go and grab it try it out and as I said let me know in the comment section below if you think it's worth that down low size just because i personally did just because of the amount of detailing within the particular sets of armor and for our last spot is going to be afro's witcher 2 collection in purple i'm not too sure what i said in purple i had a few different issues with the helmets they were glitching out to be purple not too sure why and maybe it's a bug or something maybe it's the load order or something that i did have currently at the time when i did cover this it was in one of our top fives but this comes and i literally mean a ton of stuff everything is craftable at the forge items can be used on followers and the following is i'm not going to list all of them but you can check them all out there's at least probably like 15 helmets uh, 15 sets of armor if not more guaranteed a lot more uh, loads of integrated sets as well they're all ripped from the witcher 2 so obviously if you're a fan of that even if you're not a fan of that like myself i didn't personally like witcher 2 if i'm honest but these armors are so clean and again the amount of detailing is so finesse we've covered a few of these individually uh, only a few of these individually and they were absolutely awesome and the amount of leveling of detailing from those particular mods from the single showcases we did quite some time before i did some of the top fives i do in the week now uh, they were really nice and it seems like that sort of level of sort of detail and well persistent of you know textures and meshes and stuff have poured over to this mod as well so for 209 megabyte download do i think it's worth it yeah sure you, you get like 20 sets of armor with this so you will not be disappointed and as well the jcr witcher pack in conjunction with this mod if you haven't checked that as well i'd recommend grabbing that grabbing that that is done by the evil butt panda Again, an absolute sensational weapon pack mod. I recommend that to absolutely everyone. We talked about it loads of times on the channel. It's just really a great mod. There's so many beautiful weapons from every Witcher game from there. Recommend grabbing that one in conjunction with this one. But you're probably looking at about 400 megabyte download. But as I say, if you're changing your game into a Witcher game, which you could possibly quite easily do on Skyrim, then definitely pick up these kind of mods, guys, because they're absolutely awesome. So, guys, that 
that's it for my top five for this week. Hopefully you did enjoy the videos that have been coming out on the channel. I've been working very hard lately and hopefully you guys do appreciate it. I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching to the end of all my videos. Honestly, it means so much to me. We are growing at astronomical rate. I really am enjoying putting out these videos for you guys and I really do love reading your comments. Sorry I'm a little bit slow, it's just for the fact of every time I come in from work, I just want to crack on with the video and just make content for you guys. I really do enjoy it and you will never know how much I enjoy it. Hopefully you guys can see that through the content I make. But until the next one guys, which will be tomorrow, do not worry about that. Kill a kefir and get a get out.